Here's how you clean up your credit so you get the least expensive home loan possible. Getting the loan that suits your situation at the best possible price and terms makes home buying easier and more affordable. Hi, I'm Travis Harris with HomeSmart International. Here are seven ways to boost your credit score so you can do just that. Number one, know your credit score. Credit scores range from 300 to 850, and the higher, the better. They're based on whether you pay personal loans, car loans, credit cards, and other debt in full and on time in the past. You'll need a score of at least 620 to qualify for a home loan and 740 to get the best interest rates and terms. You're entitled to a free copy of your credit report annually from each of the major credit reporting bureaus, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Access all three versions of your credit report at annualcreditreport.com. Review them to ensure that the information is accurate. Number two, correct errors on your credit report. If you find mistakes on your credit report, write a letter to the credit reporting agency explaining why you believe that there's an error. Send documents that support your case and ask that the error be corrected or removed. Also write to the company or debt collector that reported the incorrect information to dispute the information and ask to be copied on any materials sent to the credit reporting agencies. Number three, pay every bill on time. You may be surprised at the damage even a few late payments will have on your credit score. The easiest way to make a big difference in your credit score without altering your spending habits is to diligently pay all your bills on time. You'll also save money because you'll keep the money you've been spending on late fees. Credit card or mortgage companies probably won't report minor late payments, those less than 30 days overdue. but less but but you'll still have to pay late fees number four use credit carefully another good way to boost your credit score is to pay your credit card bills in full every month now if you can't do that pay as much over your required minimum payment as possible to begin whittling away the debt stop using your credit cards to keep your balances from increasing and transfer balances from the high interest credit cards to lower interest cards Number five, take care with the length of your credit. Credit rating agencies also consider the length of your credit history. If you had a credit card for a long time and managed it responsibly, that works in your favor. However, opening up several new cards at once can lower your average age of your account, which pushes down your score. Likewise, closing credit card accounts lowers your available credit. So keep credit cards open, even if you're not using them. Number six, don't use all the credit you, you've been offered. Credit scores are also based on how much credit you use compared to how much you've been offered. Using $1,000 of available credit will give you a lower score than having $1,000 of available credit and using only $100 of it. Occasionally, opening up new lines of credit can boost your cr available credit, which also affects your score positively. Number seven, be patient. It can take time for your credit score to climb once you've begun working on it to improve it. Keep at it because the more distance you put between your spotty payment history and your current good payment record, the less damage you'll do to your credit score. Well, I trust that these seven tips will aid you in improving your credit scores and ultimately helping you get a lower interest free rate for your new home. Contact me today so that I can connect you with an amazing loan officer. This is Travis Harris with HomeSmart International. Make it a great day.